for you is live action from the Cinch Premiership. What might we see today, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, getting the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Now, look at this. They might be able to cash in here. pressure applied Amduni now that is how to beat your opponent excellent defending Chris Cannon Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. George Grant. Teammates available. Opportunity to go ahead. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Played over. Not the best clearance. hit the target.
elevation there. Kai Rose. Grant. That's a good looking ball. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Counter attacking chance. One minute added on at the end. And with that, the first half draws to a close. So the two teams have switched around, and the second half is underway. Fraser. It did look on for them, but not to be. Really nice ball. around him. Back and forth in terms of possession. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Can't really allow runs like that. Is this the moment? And that was goalkeeping right out of the top floor. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. Teammates 
in the middle. And danger still. Just wanted to get it out of there. Now the counter attack looks on. Unable to keep possession. Gary Mackay, Stephen. Players waiting in the centre. Oh, doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And a double substitution it's going to be. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal! Just when we wondered if this might finish nil-nil. There it is. They're in front. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? right now well, we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one and there it breaks down but credit to the defense now in the dying embers of the game it looks as though the visitors have done it off Stuart your assessment well they need to hold oh, wait a minute Stuart look what's happening Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and then just look at the way he opens up his body here. Times it perfectly, catches it so sweetly, it's a wonderful strike. And just five minutes remaining. The Hunnigan quite the shift to win the ball back. And he keeps going. Oh, managing to beat him. Fine piece of defending play to break us up. Good idea. Now he's got to stay calm. Well, he... And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Well, the electronic board showing three additional minutes. Kevin Pampey. Perfect challenge. And in with a real chance. Opportunity still there. The crossbar goes in the way. Looked into the box. Oh, just look at that. I don't mind saying that is out of this world. Spectacular. Well, let's look at this again. And I have to say, that's such a wonderful piece of improvisation to get that on target. Wow, what a goal. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. 
two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he...